Hello, SBC family. Just feel like talking to you for a few minutes. Hope that's okay. There are some things that um, you need to know. Um, get some clarity, some concerns that I have. Um, all of us know what we're going through with this COVID-19. It's, uh, it's been two years. It's been almost two years. Um, it's been quite a journey, quite a run. And God has really sown his seed of blessing into the little church on the corner. Um, because we haven't, we haven't, we haven't lost anyone to COVID. We did uh, lose a person or two with it, but not to it. Um, and that's important. That just shows the graciousness of God. However, it is a journey going through this. Um, this has been the hardest two years of my 35 years. Um, since I've been at synagogue because this is truly a walk of faith. Now, um, it's a walk of faith because we need everyone to support synagogue Baptist church as if they were there every Sunday. Um, we're still doing everything we can to get the word of God to you, to get it to you in a very viable way, to get the truth to you. Um, and just because we're not, we're not here. There are some people who have totally disassociated themselves, not only from the church, but from the giving aspect of Synagogue Baptist Church. Um, that's going to make things increasingly difficult because things still are, are going on. You know, uh, lights are still on, uh, heat is still on, um, things still have to be paid. Um, there are repairs that have to be made, things that have to be replaced. Um, just because we're not here on an everyday basis doesn't mean that, you know, things are not happening. Um, and so we need, we need people to give. We need you to give, uh, not because you're here, but to give because God has been good. Give because um, you, you've grown in this ministry. Um, it doesn't have to be a huge ministry to be an effective ministry. So we need people to give. It's a challenge trying to come up with different ideas. Um, it's, it's difficult to walk out on a Sunday morning and, and see a handful of people. Um, that's hard. You may not think it is, but that's, that's hard. Um, because it, 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 things like that even make you question yourself. But praise be to God, God has been good to Synagogue Baptist Church, but we need people to come together we're still a family. We're not, we're not a family um, away from COVID. We're a family in COVID. And um, when we've had people that lost loved ones, we were there. We were there doing what we had to do to, to try to make it better. So we need you to, uh, to pray for the church. We need you to pray for the leadership here. Um, and we need you to, to get involved. We've got some wonderful classes going on through the week. Some wonderful classes. And there's, there are many of you who won't get involved in the virtual ministry, and, you know, and I get things where, you know, Reverend, I ain't really, you know, that good on the Internet. But you're all over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You, you, you're pretty good at something. And if you can do all that, it would seem that you can just simply get online with a couple of codes and a passcode. Um, we still need to grow in Christ. COVID is not an excuse not to grow in Christ. It's not an excuse to, um, to make myself invisible because now since we don't have to go to church, I really don't have any responsibility. You still have a responsibility to grow. You have a responsibility to, 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 to get better at who we are in Christ so that we can be a blessing to all these people that's around us that's going through things. Uh, it's tough, man. It's hard, and uh, and I I can't be I can't be any better of a pastor unless you help. I, I I'm not that good. I, I can't do that. I need your support. I need your help. I need people willing to uh, to do some things uh, to help with classes, to participate in classes, to grow, so that then maybe there's a class you teach. Or maybe there's an idea you have 
that we can reach people through, through, through you know, online, the virtual church. Because the virtual church, it's, 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 it's not an aberration, y'all. The virtual church is not going away. That's going to be a part of our ministry even when we come back on a regular basis. We just, we just, uh, we weren't here for the Christmas holiday. And that was because we anticipated that, you know, you just can't stop people from visiting their relatives during Christmas. And, um, and as you know, we had some, we had some cases of the COVID uh, in our church. And we, we, we weren't even in session. So you can get it anywhere. We have to be careful, you know. Um, pastors is, I'm, I always want to help you. But there are some things, you know, people call, call with that, that are just elementary. Um, sometimes I feel like, wow, after 35 years with me, you called me for that. I, maybe I haven't <laughs> done well enough. Things that are important, there are leaders here that you can talk to. We've we got a ministry, a leadership staff. Um, if it's not something the pastor has to handle, then call one of the associate ministers. And then if it, if it has to get to me, great. Um, I want to be there for you. So we still have to give. We still have to come up with ideas. How do we make this church better when we come back? How do we make it even better when we're not here? How can we make this virtual ministry even better so that when we come back um, um, and, and, and we're live every Sunday, we still got a great ministry during the week that's blessing people because the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, is that things, things, things are changing and they should change, okay? But we want to see you get involved in these classes and help. People who don't come and still won't give, you need to pray on that. If this is your church and you love this church, just because you're not coming, still, still, still send what belongs to God. Um, and you'll be blessed throughout this new year. I'm telling you. There's a direct correlation. Um, and it was one more thing I wanted to mention. Keep praying and keep asking God to show you what you need to do. Don't point to anybody else. That's what I'm asking God. God, what can I do to be a more effective pastor in, in 2022? What can I be to be a better Christian? Um, what can I be to, be to be a better husband, a better brother, um, a better friend? Let's let each of us ask ourselves, Lord, what can I render? For all of your your blessings so we got some real challenges going on um, and yet we're gonna get through it I know we are because God is still undefeated so God bless you God keep you in perfect peace but I need everybody on board we certainly need you to support your church financially and you know in, in all of my years I don't I've never pounded y'all with money ever I've never shoved it down your throat I only told you what God said to do. So let's get involved in, in, in a better way and let's show God that if SBC is your church, let's act like it. God bless you. Love you, family.